Hi guys, this is Sadeh from Problem.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Axion OS ROM based on Android 15 onto a POCO F5. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First off, get hold of the latest Android SDK platform tools from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You may extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done so in C drive. And as you could see, these are the files of platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command. Whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the booter on your phone. So let's now enable both the toggles. For that, go to the settings menu, about phone, and tap on OS version 7 times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Once that happens, go back, go to additional settings, and you should now see developer options. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone check mark. I'm aware of all the risk. Wait for 10 seconds. And once the time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK, after which you will get one more prompt regarding the debugging, tap on OK and you might get an, an RSE key prompt as well, so again tap on Allow and with this, the debugging is now enabled, let's verify the same so go to the address bar of platform tools, type in CMD and hit Enter this will launch the command prompt inside the platform tools directory as you could see now type in ADB devices and verify that you are getting an ID if you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone. And use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB fixes and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, you will now have to unlock the booter on your phone. Do know that unlocking will wipe off all the data. And it might make the warranty null and what as well. If that's well and good, you can refer to a guide and the video and get this job done. If your phone is running the MIUI, then you can simply use the Me Unlock tool to get the job done. In case of HyperOS, you will have to check mark a few additional requirements. Although I also linked a new guide using which you could bypass the requirement via the Python command. You could have a look at that as well. So with that said, let's move ahead. Now you may get hold of the latest Axion OS ROM from this link and transfer the ROM zip file inside the platform tools directory. This should take just a few seconds. Once that is done for the ease of convenience, let's rename the ROM file to something shorter. So let's rename it to ROM and the complete name will become ROM.zip. Let's just wait for the copy to be complete and now let me do the renaming to the ROM.zip. Moving on, you will now have to boot your phone to the fast boot mode. So for that, type in ADB, reboot, bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now reboot into fast boot mode in a few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen and now type in fast boot devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers onto your PC. We have made a guide and a video on the same. You could refer to a guide and get the job done. Once you have installed the drivers, right click on the windows icon and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown here as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that the PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So moving on, your first course of action is to flash the latest of the hyper recovery onto your phone. We have made a separate video and a guide on the same, but I will show you once again how to get this job done. So in this regard, as you could see, this is the video which I made. So we are done with the first step, the second step and the third step. Now get hold of the recovery file, the latest of the RP Android 15 recovery. Download the recovery version and not the boot version. It will be something along the following lines. Let me show you. This is the recovery file. Copy it and transfer it inside the platform tools directory. Likewise, rename it to something shorter. So let's rename it to PWRP. And now let's flash it onto our phone. So type in the command fastboot flash partition name which is recovery and the file name which is pwrp.img. Now you have to flash the recovery file across both the recovery slot A and the recovery slot B. Or you may combine both the slot into one command and then flash it. And the recovery is now flashed across both the slot A and B as you could see. Partition recovery A, partition recovery B. Once that is done, type in fastboot reboot recovery and your phone should now reboot to the newly flash recovery this will take only a few more seconds for that to happen so let's just wait you may simply copy paste all this command from my guide as well for example this is the command to flash the recovery and this is the command to boot into recovery and once your phone is in the recovery mode your first course of action is to do a format data so make sure you have taken a backup beforehand if that's well and good go to wipe format data type in yes and hit the orange check, blue check mark and the formatting is now complete now go back again go back Again, go back, go to re reboot and choose recovery. Your phone will now reboot to that RP recovery. And this will remount the data partition. 
which will make sure that your phone is not shown in the PC and now you could easily transfer the ROM zip file onto your PC as well onto your phone so that you could see my phone is not shown here simply copy the ROM zip file and transfer it inside the platform tools onto your phone now so let's transfer the ROM zip file in rare cases it might happen that your phone might not be shown here or in some cases even though your phone will be shown here but you will not be able to access the storage so in both these cases you may also use the adb push command to get the job done the syntax is adb push file name is rom.zip space forward slash sd card the file will be transferred to the internal storage of your phone the sd card apart from that you may also use the data or the temp directory but it's recommended to go with the sd card only then if you have a usb otg then you may use an usb phone device as well but please do not use the adb sideload method because sideloading is only used in case of usb recovery and not in case of orange fox or pwrp in both of these recovery you will only have to use the install option and not the sideloading for file transfer either use the usb mount the adb push command or the usb otg if you have but please never use the adb sideload because that will end up flashing the rom as well which we don't want to do we want to flash the rom by the install option so with that said the file is just about to be transferred onto your phone and let's go to install and the file is here select it and flash swipe to flash the flashing will now start and will take up to around 6 to 8 minutes so let's just wait for the flashing to complete so guys the flashing is now complete although you might get a few warning sign that's completely normal just make sure that you are getting the success message at the top if that's well and good now if you want to flash any other zip file then first do a reboot to recovery and only then flash the file finally you will once again have to do a format data just to be on safer side so let's do that as well and once that is done tap on reboot system and your phone will now reboot to the newly flash os do keep in mind that the first boot up will take up some time which is completely normal and nothing to worry about from the subsequent time that will not be the case with that said let's just wait for the boot animation or the boot logo to appear either of which will signify that the flashing has been done successfully and it might now show up the boot animation in a few seconds so let's just wait and then we will have a look at the rom usb and the features as well it's a relatively new rom so most of you might not be aware of that but that is about to change and as you could see this is the axion os boot animation and it should now boot up in a few seconds so guys we are now inside the setup screen let me set up the rom if you want you may connect your phone to the wi-fi link your google account and restore all the data for now i'm skipping all that stuff just to speed up the process just simply I'll accepting the terms and condition and then i will leave the rest apart let's skip this as well next next start and with this we are now inside the axion os it's based on the latest android 15 and we have the new qs tiles power menu is in qs tiles is also there the revamped settings menu is there as well apart from that screen recording in one single app is also there so whatever app you choose will the recording will only happen inside that app if in between you make a switch to any other app the recording will pause and only resume once you are back inside that app then the new revamp power menu let me have a look at that that is there as well so you may add a device from here play next or previous song from here re play and re resume any song from this icon and then go to the audio settings from this and you may access the various sounds alarm sound notification sound call sound from this page and you may also add your own sound if you want apart from that the new back gesture as you could see this is the new back gesture which will give you a sneak peek of what is behind the menu it's also working well and good then the under privacy you have the private space this will give you the option to hide your app within a password pen or pattern for that you will first have to set up a screen lock and once that is done simply go to private space and you may either use the same lock which you have for the lock screen or choose a new lock so as of now i'm using the same screen lock once that is done let me now show you how to hide the apps it's quite simple you could just add your apps over here tap on the lock icon unlock it and add the required apps from here from plus icon and you even have the option to hide the private space from the app drawer in that case you may access it from the settings menu or the search app section then as far as the apps are concerned you have a couple of third party apps bcr is for the call recording and viper fx is for the audio enhancement as you might be aware of this app as well now let's have a look at the some of the other tweaks the, in the lock screen you could add a weather widgets but 
this will lead to additional battery drainage as well so keep this point in mind then you could just see the edge lightning so whenever a notification comes the edges of the phone will light up you may also change the color of the light from here then lock screen widgets let's add a few widgets in the lock screen let's say calculator just give me a second clock timer i am randomly adding four widgets ringer tap on apply wait for a few seconds and now the widgets will be added as you could see over here you may remove the notifications and then they will come down as well so apart from the widgets we have the media cover art so if you're playing any music then it will be shown in the lock screen hide qs on lock screen let's not do that add text so this only this will mostly come into effect after a system UI restart still let me see if the text appears or not so currently it's not shown here you will have to do a system UI restart and only then it will be shown okay so I have to remove the charging cable as you could see the drive bin text is not visible only then it is shown then apart from that you may also add shortcuts at the left and right of the lock screen in the left hand side let's say camera and the right the dnd mode and as you could see both the icons are now added let me show you as well these are the two shortcuts which we have added just now this is the aod always show date and time always show when charging pulse on pickup again all of these three features pulse on double tap pulse on tap will wake up the display but will lead to additional battery drainage as well so this is the aod let me show you well it takes some time i guess so currently aod is not being shown i have to do a system where you start and i okay so this is turned off now it will be shown again it's some kind of a issue i guess a single tap okay after a single tap the aod comes into the effect and a double tap will take you to lock screen and then you may unlock your phone well and good then let's access the special feature section in the game space if you are an avid gamer you may carry out this quick disable three finger swipe gestures or add your apps over here in miscellaneous tweaks you may hide the oem unlocking and usb debugging all such status from the banking and payment app and third party apps as well hide app list this is a great feature so as you might be aware there is an open source app hma hide my app list which is actually a ls force module but you even get this app built in over here spoofing so you may enable gmail spoof and play integrity properties so go online and tap on update play integrity fix and then you will pass the basic and the device test although you will not pass the strong test but most of the apps does not require strong test but if your phone requires a strong test as well then you could refer to our guide get hold of the keybox xml file and a few modules from here and then you will pass all the three tests as you could see in my video as well moving on you may also get unlimited google photo storage from here just enable this toggle and that's just about it in the multi window you may enable the sidebar let's add a few apps over here and add this, as you could see these are the five apps you may also add more apps required and tap on this icon it will open the sidebar so currently it's a ui glitch in the sidebar this is asking for a re UI restart anyways once it's get rectified you may tap on the pin icon and app. it will be pinned at the top right or similarly you may tap on the maximize or close icon currently these are not working so you might have to do a restart or wait for the next build to be released then in the modern settings you may change the theming color or choose any random color let's say the blue color and hit apply as you could see it's now changed apart from that you can also choose any one of these preset themes if required but currently i'm going with the blue theme only you may also change the background color if let's go with the red and hit the apply and the background color will not be changed after a ui restart then in the system gestures double press power button let's say custom app and uh, let's open the files app and now let me have a look at that okay just give me a second and as you could see the files app is now opened double press power button custom which we have checked mark already then after that three finger swipe gesture let's say take a screenshot it's working well and good shake gestures you would also assign an action let's say launch the camera and as you could see the camera is now launched using just gestures which is quite a handy feature then apart from that you may hide the navigation bar space in the keyboard if required 
let me first invoke the keyboard and as you could see this is the space at the bottom so once you enable this feature which is the high navigation bar space let's say no space and wait for a few seconds and now let me see so as you could see there's no space at the bottom so this is how it will look and apart from that let's go to the wallpapers and style section so from here you may change the lock screen clock style as well there are these are the options this is quite a new icon clock which i haven't seen then you may change the theming color from here or choose any other color from here and get the job done as well or switch between light and dark theme from this page apart from that you could also change the icons in the status bar these are the icons let's apply the lawn these are some new icons which i haven't seen in various other custom bombs this is also looking quite nice let me enable a few toggles and i will show you let's say dnd airplane mode and the changes are also taking place inside the qs tiles as you could see now so both the qs tiles as well as the top right icon both are changed then if you go to the home screen you may enable the themed icons and they are now implemented likewise you may change the app grid size by default is 5 cross 5 you may increase up to 6 cross 10 but 5 cross 5 is more than sufficient you may also change the app status bar icons which we have done already then the font is also check marked so whatever font you choose will be applied across the entire ui and ux of the os and there are quite a lot of font that you could choose from including the nothing os font style as well so it's a never ending list finally we have the icon shape for both the app screen and the home screen app drawer and the home screen let's go with the samsung one and hit apply and it's now implemented as you could see apart from that let's have a look at the launcher settings so if you're using a custom icon pack you may go here and enable the theme icon for that and choose your icon pack from here give it the notification dots access so that it will show the notification icon in the app icon under the home screen you may carry out these tweaks and since it's a vanilla build you may also swipe turn off the swipe to access google app and then there will be no google app as you could see likewise you may also remove the search bar at the bottom of the home screen let me show you that so you just have to turn off google search bar and then it will be gone from the bottom of the screen home screen so along the following lines you may also remove the welcome to action os message so for that you will have to turn off the at a glance widget and then it will be gone let me show you wait for a few seconds and as you could see it's now gone but i just like to keep it for the sake of reference then in the next up we have the app drawer you could enable theme icon in the app drawer as well let me see that and it's now implemented although there is no option to change the opacity and transparency of the app drawer because i would have liked it more transparent but still it will get the job done in the recent menu you may add the memory info and the share icon as well this might again require system where you start okay so it's working well and good let's sh try sharing it and i don't okay so it will take the image share the image from here i don't know who is going to take a screenshot from this page anyways it's quite a handy feature you could also get hold of the available ram and it's also using the ram expansion feature as you could see the 4.3 gb of storage is being used as a ram expansion finally we have a few miscellaneous tweaks as well you may enable the taskbar feature and use it as well just swipe up from home screen it will now restart and relaunch then bring up the taskbar give it a few seconds so and it will then work well and good let me lock and unlock my phone it's currently all messed up for the first time usage and as you could see this is the taskbar the apps which are there on the home screen will be the same apps which will be shown in the taskbar as you could see these are the five apps you may also access the app drawer from this page if required for now i will keep it turned off because i like to use the recent screen gesture and it might conflict with that so guys that's just about it if you have any queries with regard to any other steps or you want to know more about this rom do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching